Hey, thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa from Semi Dolls. In this video series, we're going to make a doll following the Amelie pattern, including all the hair, the clothes, and the shoes. And Amelie is 18 inches tall and can swap clothes with dolls like American Girl, Guts, and Our Generation, etc. All the other videos in the series are linked down below in a playlist, and you can find the link to the pattern down below as well. And now, let's get started! You will need an air erasable pen, a long doll maker's needle, a short sewing needle if you like, and embroidery thread for the eyes and the mouth. Mark the eye position with an air erasable pen. Divide the six strands of embroidery thread in half and only use three strands for each eye. You can also use two if you like. Stick the needle with the embroidery thread in at the bottom left corner of the eye and pull it through to the top of the head. Use the long doll maker's needle for this. I'm using the ribs and rows of the knit fabric as a rough guideline to embroider the eyes. You can make the eyes smaller or larger by decreasing or increasing the width and number of the rows. I'm going to show in detail and a bit more slowly in a few minutes how I embroider the eyes. You could also draw the eyes on with an air erasable marker and embroider around it. So we're just going to have a look at how I make the first eye. And for the second eye, I'm going to put up a little diagram that took me hours to make. <laughs> so you can see exactly how I'm doing it and I hope this will be helpful. We will increase the width of the eye for four rows or for five rows if you want larger eyes. Then stay on the same width for five to six rows and then decrease the width again. I felt like adding an eyelash this time. This step is optional. So now let's have a look at the eye in detail. We start off the second eye in the same way as the first one. Depending on whether you prefer smaller or larger eyes, count X amount of ribs to the right and stick your needle through. Come out one rib to the left and one row above on the left side of the eye. For 18 inch dolls, I typically count three to three and a half ribs for the first row. 
I think I did three for this one. Go in one row above and one rib to the right on the right side of the eye and come out one row above and one rib to the left on the left side of the eye. Repeat, go in one row above and one rib to the right on the right side of the eye and come out one row above and one rib to the left on the left side of the eye. And as I said, do this for four or five rows, depending on how wide you want your eye. Now go up five rows or six for larger eyes, maintaining the same width. Still the same width. And just do this until you feel it's time to decrease the width again so that your eye doesn't get too long and ha has more of a roundish shape. To decrease the width of the eye, go in on the same width on the right side, but go one rib to the right on the left side of the eye. In the next row, go in one rib to the left on the right side and one rib to the right on the left side of the eye. Repeat this the same number of times you increase the width in the beginning. Once you get back to the top of the eye, you can either go over the eye again a second time or you can stick the needle back through to the top of the head. I decided to add a little eyelash on the side of the eye this time. This step is optional. I usually embroider over the eyes twice to make them pop out more, to make them stand out more and to make sure that all uneven uh, spots are not visible anymore. Tie the threads off at the top of the head. For the mouth, use all six strands of the embroidery thread. Stick the needle with the embroidery thread in on one side of the mouth and pull it through to the top of the head. This is a bit hard sometimes, so I'm using this hemostat here to help me. Stick the needle in at the other side of the mouth and pull it through to the top of the head. Tie the threads off at the top of the head and you can pull the threads as much as you like if you want to smile or if you want a smaller mouth you can make the mouth wider or smaller depending on what you like. And then we can have a little glimpse at the personality of the doll already. In the next video we are going to make the hair for the doll and I hope I see you in that video again as well. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests and if you like head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time, bye!